We start with uh, looking at the time signature, of course, 4-4, four, 4 four counts per measure. We have a pickup on counts 2, 3, 4, so count 1 is a rest, and then count 2, 3, 4. We play, and then counts 1 through 3 are this dotted half, count 4, remember how to count? All right, look at the rest. Pay attention to that rest because there's no left hand. So you have, when there's no left hand, you have to pay attention. Count one, there's a rest. So watch that. <clears throat> Some rests we don't have to really look at, like this one. It's a whole rest, of course, because there's nothing in the left hand. We're not, we're not going to play anything anyway, so that's not a big deal. But we do have to look at the rest in the right hand, the quarter rest, to not play there. And then play on count two. Look here, there's a whole measure of rest there. Count to one, to four, and don't do anything. One, two, three, four of silence. <clears throat> All right, let's look at the notes. Let's see if you get them. I really hope you know that this is a G by this point, <laughs> without too much struggle. E and C, but it's a sixth. Feel that distance. Play the Gs with your two finger, and play this, of course, with one and five. Okay? Yes, it's G and E, but I want you to feel that distance of a six. It's this far apart. And so you, you get you measure, you get your hand, your, your thumb and your fifth finger that distance apart for a six, and I can move anywhere to play it. Because I feel that distance. You don't want to play E and C and then go, okay, now what are we doing? G and E. Keep that distance and slide, keep your hand in that mold and go up to the G and E, okay? So the same thing here. Now let's just look at the rhythm for this part. I have to count it. Here we go. On count one we rest. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See how I counted the rest there? Look at the left hand. 